what's up dolls welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be doing <laughs> 10 i guess tips and advice for college freshmen that is my friend robin in the background if you've been here with me for a while you don't see her in a few videos <laughs> but not trying to have a long intro so we're just gonna jump right into tip number one which i have them written down in my little book so that's what i'm be looking at but number one is remember why you're going to college if you're going to hbcu it's not to party it's you're going to college to get a degree so don't go there thinking oh i'm about to just party and all this other stuff and i'm gonna make it through college because you're not if you do congratulations i wish i was you but it's not really there you can't really do that so just stay in the books as much as you can you can still party and stuff but put your school work first i do not recommend that you put everything before your school work get it done number two that i have is with roommates which i didn't stay on campus my first semester well my first year i commuted but if you have a roommate if you're going to stay on campus i recommend that you try to build a bond as soon as you get there try to at least be friends or just be what's the word i'm looking for cordial or just be cordial with your roommate because you got to be with them a whole year like that's your roommate for a year unless like y'all have like major major disagreements then y'all can of course get new roommates but like that's gonna be a roommate for two whole semesters so try to get to know each other become friends or at least cordial because that's who you're gonna be sleeping with like every night y'all together and you want to trust somebody that you're sleeping in the same room with so that's my advice on roommates number three branch out meet new people do not go to college and the first group of people you meet you just stay with them meet new people get to know people don't be everybody's friend because everybody is not going to be your friend and everybody's not going to be trustworthy but at least get to know as many people as possible it just helps with making like connections and when you graduate and you never know like where you will see them at again you might need them later on in life so you know meet new people meet everybody people who you know have things in common with or people who do things that you want to start doing just branch out meet meet new people and talk to everybody you know don't be a don't be anti-social hardcore just you know speak get to know people okay so number four get involved do not be the person who just goes goes to college and shuts themselves in like get involved join groups organizations sports if you can don't do everything at the school because you won't have time but you know join things like my school i joined the cheerleading team because that's what i know but they have so many groups you can do sororities and um fraternities if you are allowed to as a freshman i know some of them will allow you to do that as a freshman some won't because you need a gpa in college before you can actually join but some will let you your freshman year but join you know those or um like i said organizations like at my school we have sga which is um something with like government i can't remember the actual term that it is but it's a whole bunch of things you can do you can work you can do like work study work somewhere on campus just something don't be stuck in your room all the time get out you know Number five is stay organized, as in with your time management and class scheduling. Because you're going to have more than like four or five classes. You're going to at minimum have like four or five classes. And you need to know when you got to go to each class, where they're at, how long it's going to take you to get there from your classes, from your dorm room. Then with class scheduling, you need to do that on time or else you're not going to have the classes that you need. You're going to have the classes that aren't going to get you graduated in time that you need to be. Because if you get classes that you don't need at a certain time or that you need, you have to take classes before you can get to your major, pretty much. So if you don't have those classes taken by your like junior year, you're not going to graduate on time because you got to take those classes over. Or you might not get in them because those seniors, they have to take those classes. So they're going to get first pick. And now you you stuck taking classes that you don't even have to take because you you didn't have time management because you was not organized. I know because I did that. I was very late my first time <laughs> scheduling and I had classes. I had a history class. I 
I didn't need history, but I had it and I didn't do good in it. <laughs> so be on time with class scheduling and just just be on time. Time management, please, y'all. I'm learning it now. Learn it. Get ready. Have that under your belt. But that's it on time management and stuff. Because I'm still learning it myself. So I don't have too much to say about it. So tip number six is getting distracted. Which meaning from your like schoolwork. As in if you know you have a paper due. and But your friends call you like oh let's go do this. Don't get distracted going with them. When you know you have that paper due. And you need to be doing it. Mm -hmm. Friends. Friends are good to have. But sometimes they are distraction. But you just have to be able to say, no, I have a paper due. I was the one who was, all right, where you at? I'm about to come. <laughs> I, that was me. I swear. I used to do work last minute because every time my friends would hit me up, like, let's go do this. Or I'm here or I'm there. I'll just be like, all right, I'm coming. Oh, wait on me. I'm coming. Do not be like me because you'll be very stressed trying to get five yeah. six page papers done crying, at a computer. crying cause I'm telling you I had classes where due dates were that night so before 12 o'clock hit that thing had to be turned in and you hard down at the computer trying to work <laughs> I be hard down crying <laughs> like they just said enough words yet like I'm I'm telling you you wanna go here? no uh -oh. so like, I'm telling y'all get <laughs> When they give you time, take it, like appreciate it, use it. Do not take it for granted. Cause you will be hurt. Mm -hmm. You will be hurt. I'm telling you. So that's about getting distracted. Tip number seven, taking your relationships to college. Mm. I vote no, don't do it. Especially if you're going to like, okay. If your high school relationship was rocky in high school, don't take it to college because it's just going to get even more rockier, especially if y'all going to different schools. If you got trust issues, leave it where, leave it at, leave it at home, leave it at high school. Y'all take a break and go to college and see what's out there. And if you really want to be with that person, then, you know, be with them after that, after you experience your first year. Because if you don't trust them already and then they far away, you don't know what they're doing. You can't just go see them or whatever. It's going to really get to you. You're going to be thinking they cheating or they doing this. It's just going to be hard. But if you think you can do it, that's your business. You go do it. <laughs> I'm just, I would personally say don't. I tried it. I was talking to somebody who went to college and it was just nonstop. Just disappointment. It just was, you felt like they doing this. You felt like they doing that. So you start doing whatever. You're just like, I don't want to do this. It's just, it's not, to me, it's not worth it going into it full blown just take a break see what's out there and if you want really want to build down like a week or two down the road maybe a month or two then do you but i just would say leave it leave it home don't do it okay so that's it with relationships with going into college i just say no so number eight if you have a car i recommend you bring it to college okay. if you staying on campus bring it because i'm telling you college don't have everything you need they don't they might have little stores that you can go shop at and stuff but they do not have everything that you need and they are going to be pricey like it's they gonna charge you five dollars for a pack of gum because they can where else you want to get it you can't get off campus you're not walking to a convenience store so if you have a car bring it if you don't have a car and you get on campus find a friend that has a car don't be the friend that got the group of friends that nobody have a car. Shame. Not even shade. <laughs> like, I'm telling you. Because y'all going to be mad. All the parties is off campus. Like, at my school, all the parties are like, you got to drive somewhere. So, if you think you about to party at my school and you ain't got no car and you ain't got no friends that ain't got no car, you ain't going nowhere. You stuck at home looking at everybody snap, having fun. So, if you have a car... I recommend you bring it if you don't have a car or if your parents won't let you drive your car pick friends that have cars well don't pick friends that have cars just at least find a friend that has a car you know you get tired of the cow food you want something else 
somebody can drive you there or you can drive yourself there see bring a car or have a friend that has a car so that's number eight number nine is stay out of drama which is not really hard in college because college is not high school like people do really don't care what you're doing ain't nobody in your business unless you're out there broadcasting it because it's a big campus don't nobody know you like that they don't care either they got their own life going on so i mean if there is any drama stay out of it don't be the person that everybody's like oh drama's with them or they just all about drama all they do is talk they're messy stay away from it stay clear because really to me in college once you get that label of being messy that's it like we had one girl that was labeled messy like the beginning of the first semester and that's how everybody seen her when we got done with our um first semester like that she just was messy she had the same group of friends with didn't nobody else want to bother with her that was it so stay away from drama don't get labeled as messy because it's it doesn't look fun i wouldn't i wouldn't want to be labeled messy but that's all i know about that because i don't i'm not with the drama i like having fun but my last tip which i'm pretty sure everyone's going to like going to college like i'm ready to do this is about partying partying it's a fun experience it's very fun doing college partying it's very different from high school partying in my opinion it's more it's just it's just better it's better to me you you get to drink even though you're not the legal age of drinking which i'm not saying y'all should drink i'm not condoning it none of that i just do it and that's that's me I drink when I go out I need to drink not need to but I I rather drink when I go out it's just funner so to me college party is better but do not let it be your whole college experience like don't party every time there's a party like at my school I think we had parties every Thursday Friday and Saturday maybe all those days and do I do not recommend partying weekdays that Thursday and you know you got classes Friday morning. Stay. Don't don't do it. I do not recommend it. You can try it once or twice, but I don't recommend you doing it. I think I did it twice. And I slept through every class on Friday. I had three classes and I slept through every last one. I made sure I was there for my attendance. But I slept. I ain't learned nothing. I ain't know nothing. I walked in and walked out with the same mindset. Nothing. Hey, I'm pretty sure I wore shades the whole day. I just, I would not recommend it. Now, Friday night, go do you. Blow your mind. Just go have fun. Because you ain't got to wake up Saturday morning doing nothing. Just, you know, have fun then. But at the same time, don't party. Don't go to every party. Because then it's like, what you getting done? You getting ready to go party after your class. You talking to everybody about how you getting there. I'm pretty sure a lot of a lot of people in college just don't have cars for some reason. I don't know. At my school, every parking lot was full, but I swear nobody had a car. I, I just didn't understand it. But it's a lot going into going to a party, so you know, limit it so you can make sure everything's done and limit it so that you're not you poop. You're not you know you have energy. Partying takes a lot out of you. The next day, I swear you don't want to do nothing until that night again. That's when you wake up and start start your day and it's ended. So, party. I'm not saying don't party because I love to party. It's very fun. But don't let it be your whole college experience. Like, what you do your first semester of college? Oh, I party. That, that shouldn't be your answer. <laughs> don't party too much. But that's really it for my, like, main 10 tips. Like, that's all I really... Like the main things I could think of. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video. If you have any advice, like your second semester, um, not second semester. You know what I mean. If you don't went through your first year of freshman college and you have any advice, comment it down below. But that's really all I have for you guys. So, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and become a doll or whatever. And this is Sam signing off. Peace. And this is Robin signing off too. Bye. <laughs> Sin, Sin City was not made for you. Angels like you.